Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Here we go again, another heavy workload test for the all new S24 Ultra versus the 15 Pro Max and the Pixel 8 Pro. Spoiler alert, the S24 Ultra failed to finish the 30 minutes test twice, which is totally unexpected, as the S23 Ultra of last year was able to pass the test and win the same phones multiple times, so let's see what happened. By now you should be familiar with the rules, but let's go through them really quick. The test will include 4 heavy tasks for each phone to run simultaneously as shown now on the screen. All 3 are running the latest stable software version available at the time of filming this video. I will be using cellular data instead of Wi-Fi with the 5G set to auto. The display resolution is set to Quad HD Plus on the S24 Ultra and the Pixel 8 Pro while the iPhone has a fixed resolution. The 120Hz refresh rate is activated on all of them and the screen brightness is calibrated. Now let's begin the test. The initial temperatures from left to right are 31, 33.6 and 34.5 degrees Celsius. So let's start the Microsoft Teams meeting and enable the screen sharing, followed by a 2160p video on YouTube in picture in picture view, start the navigation to Dubai Mall and finally play Asphalt 9. Let's take a quick look at the game settings. This is the first time to see the option to set the FPS manually on the Pixel 8 Pro, so all of them are set to 60 frames and now let's start the stopwatch for 30 minutes. As usual, the Galaxy started with the brightest display while the other two are slightly dimmer even before starting the first race. The Pixel is in the second spot followed by the 15 Pro Max. So let's play a couple of races and see what's gonna happen. After reaching the third race menu at the 3 minutes and 17 seconds mark, the S24 Ultra started to dim the display to be as bright as the Pixel 8 Pro while the 15 Pro Max is still in the third spot. After 5 minutes and 3 seconds, the iPhone had another brightness drop to be the darkest by far while the S24 Ultra and the Pixel were equally good. So far none of them showed any signs of lag or slowdown, so let's keep going. The Pixel had its second brightness drop after 6 minutes and 26 seconds, it's still brighter than the iPhone while the S24 Ultra is in the lead. But shortly after at the 8 minutes mark, the S24 Ultra got another brightness drop to be as bright as the Pixel, so both devices are playing a catch up game on the first and second spots while the iPhone lags behind. Not only this, but after another 25 seconds, the iPhone started to struggle and kept pausing the picture-in-picture -picture video on its own. I thought the data connection is the reason at first, but none of the other two phones faced this issue even though all of them used the same exact network. The iPhone kept pausing the video many times, then at the 11 minutes and 40 seconds mark, it started to lag quite a bit, while the other two phones are still intact, so let's give it more time to see what's gonna happen. The 15 Pro Max's performance kept getting worse and after 14 minutes and 15 seconds the phone started to lag even more, the game was almost unplayable and the YouTube video is still pausing. But it didn't crash and lock the screen like it did in the previous round back in December so it handles the situation differently after iOS 17.3. When it comes to the brightness, the 8 Pro is in the lead, followed by the S24 Ultra and the 15 Pro Max comes third, so let's keep going. After 18 minutes exactly, the S24 Ultra decided to close the picture-in-picture -picture window because of the heat, which is totally unexpected, as the S23 Ultra was able to finish this test multiple times in my previous videos without any thermal warnings. The only time the S23 Ultra did this was back in my December comparison after 10 months of its release and it did it after 27 minutes. I tried to open the picture picture window a couple of times but it didn't allow me. I took a temperature reading and it maxed out at 46.7 degrees so unfortunately the S24 Ultra failed to finish the test and let me tell you that this is my second trial to make sure it's not a one-time thing but it did the same in both. At this stage the 15 Pro Max was extremely laggy and I faced a hard time dealing with the phone as it wasn't responding to most of my touches while the 8 Pro surprised me with the sustained performance throughout the test. The game is still playable and the display is brighter than the iPhone. Till the 28 minutes mark the 8 Pro was performing really well but 5 seconds more it gave a thermal warning and dropped the data connection so I took a temperature reading and it maxed out at 47.7 degrees. The iPhone performance didn't change and here is a final look before ending the 30 minutes. The game is still unplayable since the 14 minutes mark but with no crashes and when it comes to the temperature it maxed out at 44.2 degrees. So let's take a look at the numbers. I would say none of them passed the test. 
The S24 Ultra had no issues at first, but it decided to close the picture-in-picture -picture window after 18 minutes because of the heat. The 15 Pro Max started to struggle after 8 minutes and 25 seconds and kept pausing the YouTube video, then the game was unplayable after 14 minutes and 15 seconds. Surprisingly, the 8 Pro sustained its performance for a much longer time, giving a thermal warning after 28 minutes and 5 seconds, which is 10 minutes more than the S24 Ultra. The in-game FPS ranged between 60 to 29, which means the game was playable throughout the whole period, but the only downside is the graphics quality was not as good as the other two phones. Temperature-wise, the 15 Pro Max was the coolest at 44.2 degrees, followed by the S24 Ultra at 46.7, and the 8 Pro reached 47.7. For the brightness, both the S24 Ultra and the Pixel were the best while the iPhone had the darkest display at all time. And as usual, the iPhone had the best screen sharing quality, followed by the Pixel and the Galaxy, which were equally bad. Lastly, when it comes to the battery, it's hard to compare without taking the experience in consideration, but anyways, all started at 80% and S24 Ultra consumed 10% in 18 minutes, the 15 Pro Max lost 8% in 30 minutes, and the 8 Pro consumed 16% in 28 minutes, so you are the judge which one is better. So overall, I think the 8 Pro did the best despite its higher battery consumption and heat as usual, and it was able to deliver a good performance for the longest period of time. So my assumption is the more powerful CPU is not always the best option, as the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 in the S24 Ultra is the closest to the A17 Pro chip in the 15 Pro Max when it comes to benchmarks, and both failed to sustain this heavy performance for a long period of time because of the heat. Which means they are more capable of doing one thing at a time in a fast speed and short period rather than multiple things for a longer period of time, and that's why the S23 Ultra of last year with a less powerful CPU was able to do it just fine. And I think it's the sweet spot up until the technology evolve in the future, so please let me know your thoughts in the comments below, but for now, thanks so much for watching, and see you in the next video.